Hello everybody. In this JavaScript programming lesson, you can learn to allow users to print specific parts of your documents instead of printing the entire web page. We're going to add little print buttons near each printable portion of the document. So let's inspect our default HTML. What we have is two divs and a paragraph element. Each has their own separate content and each has their own ID. We're going to use that ID to access the elements in JavaScript and print just its content. So let's create a button. We're going to create a button after each of these elements. And inside of the button, we're going to add a click event and make that equal to a function that we're going to fire off that will allow us to print just the content inside of div1. We'll name it print content. And we're going to pass one argument through that function, the string that is the div ID, in this case div1, which is this div right here. And then you can type print content for the button label. Now let's just take that and copy it. And let's put one underneath div2. And let's put one underneath paragraph1. Let's change this to p1. Change this to div2. And it's that simple. Now when the user clicks each of these buttons, a print content function is going to fire off. And that's going to be up here in our JavaScript portion of the document. So let's put in a script element. So make sure we go down a couple of lines and close that script element. Now we need this function, so let's just highlight that. Go up in our JavaScript, type in function, print content, open curly brace, and close in curly brace. Now up here in the argument, we can just type in el. So if the user hits this first button, el is going to represent this string, div1. If they hit the second button, this el variable is going to represent div2. Now the first thing we're going to do inside of this function is we're going to get a restore page variable. So type in var restore page and make that equal to document dot body dot inner html. And that will allow you to pack all of the whole documents body inner html into this restore page variable. So basically everything that's within your body tag on the page, all of this stuff right here is going to be packed into the restore page variable first thing in the function then the second thing we do is create another variable and we're going to call that print content and we're going to make that equal to document dot get element by id and we're going to pass the el string the id string and we'll get its dot inner html as well so we haven't manipulated anything in the page all we've done is created two variables one that holds everything on the page and one that holds just the specific content to be printed. Now the next thing we do is we change the document.body.innerHTML to be only the print content. So you can just take this variable here and put it right there. Then we simply run the window.print method. And that's what actually prints the page. So if you were to run the print method without doing this little uh, swapping of the inner HTML for the body, it would just print the entire document, the whole web page. But since we've taken the document body in your HTML and made it equal to only the print content, that means the page's inner HTML is only equal to the print content. And that's how, when you run the window.print method, it only prints just a specific part of the page. And then directly after that, you have to restore the document's inner HTML. Directly after that, you just put the restore page variable right here. So you're making the inner HTML of the document equal to only the print content for a split second, then the print method runs, and directly after that, you restore the document's regular, the original HTML. And that's how you can allow users to print just a specific part of the page. Now let's run a test. I'm gonna test in Chrome, and I'll hit the first one, print content. And it should print only div1. So you see there, let me zoom in on that. It's only div1 content that's going to be printed. Then let me hit the second one. It's only div2 content that's going to be printed this time. And then finally the paragraph. And it's only paragraph1 content that's going to be printed. So like I said, if you wanted to print the whole document, you just run the window.print method without all this other stuff. But if you want to print just a specific portion of the document or just specific text within the document, you can do that using this approach here. 